Hey everybody, I told you I'd make a uh, video inside my cab here, or inside my truck. So here it is. Um, obviously this is the driver's seat. Got the clutch down there, the brake, and the accelerator just like any other manual. All my gauges and my switches. Uh, got an overhead cabinet here. It's just got a few little things in there. It's got my dash cam, extra microphone, and in this little cubby hole here, I just have my external speaker for my radio. This one here, I have absolutely, well, I take that back. I do have something in here, just a, just a really bright flashlight and as you can see there's my external speaker with all the extra wires uh, passenger seat here with a with a little uh, glove box and I do want to show you guys something and look at this this is a huge huge remote let's see if it'll focus there we go and I mean if you don't believe me it works see only supplier of Toyo tires all right a defiant dog that is just god awful that is a huge 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 remote I got all my pins down there now let's go to the back got a little trusty dusty little mirror there with some lights there uh, let's see if we can turn on some more lights and I think that's all of them so all right and I have little cubby holes just to stick things in up here um, another little cubby hole like I said I don't really spend too much time out on the road so I don't have a lot of things and, I, and in here I got more just pretty much CB stuff um, window each side each side of the truck one's just behind that curtain there Um, then I have just this little cabinet door. It's got a little hook up there, so I mean I can hang clothes if need be, but like I said, I'm not really in here that much. And then I got also, you know, just the bare essentials, a very loud alarm clock because when I do sleep, I'm tired. Just like most of everybody else, except for I work a 14 hour day. I mean, a lot of other people do too, but. Um, and in here, you know, got my fridge going. Sorry. Um, Big Red Monster Candy Lunch Meat. Just a little essentials. I also have a uh, freezer right here, but there's absolutely nothing in there. I got a little tray of ice if I ever wanted it, but like I said, I'm hardly ever in here, so I don't do that much. And that is a beautiful painting that my daughter painted me for my truck. It's got a little ripped up, but sorry. And here's my bed. I mean, two pillows wide, wide enough for me. Sweet little dirt bike cover blanket and I mean it's a nice truck I absolutely like it oh yeah and then I also have these little cabinets here got different kind of bread snack drawer kind of thing cubby hole but that is a tour of my truck I'll show you the dash I guess a little bit better Ugh. This guy's probably wondering what I'm doing next to me. 
Okay, oil pressure, coolant, volts, RPM, miles per hour, fuel, primary air, secondary air, my beautiful wife and me, uh, my oil temperature, load suspension, and uh, brakes applied, see, see it go up. Um, then I have my rear axle, transmission temp, manifold. I do not have def in this truck, so, but more kind of a boost type thing, I guess. Um, trailer supply, front axle, amps. This is my airbags. This is fifth wheel. This is uh, pretty much locks it in four wheel drive. It's called a differential lock. Um, auxiliary lights for the extra little lights I have. These are all just spares right there. Of course, I got my headset, GPS up there, radio, dash cam. Radio is actually right there. Um, light to control the back, as you can tell. But I still have lights on back there. I have my AC, I can control it. So if I got cruise control, Jake brake, stage, stage three, stage two, stage one, keep it on three. Um, that's for the fan. That's, the, I guess, regen. I forget. I don't. I don't know why it's a regen. I don't have def on here, so. Then you got my four-way flashers right there. Then I have my work lights, my running lights, my headlights, ignition, obviously. And then I have no warning lights, diagnostics, no faults, or faults found. Let's see what that is. Loading faults. I have a PTO and message missing fuel. Okay, let's just start at the top. Nothing. Gauges, RPMs, let you know about what you're truly running along with that. But, trip information, getting average speed 60.2 mile an hour at 6.8 miles to the gallon. Trip results. Yeah, yeah. So far, it's only Tuesday. Idle info: six point five hours, twenty five percent. PTO: one hundred seventy hours, point four. Pretty much just everything. I mean, chassis. There, there's the chassis number. Engine info. What's funny though is that says it's a Caterpillar, but it's an actually it's a Detroit engine. So I'll show it to you guys another day. Um, right now I just don't feel like it because the truck's very dirty, and that's and that is totally wrong. It's actually not really off by much. And settings, you know, everything home. So, yep, that's my truck. Hopefully you guys like it. Like I said, I'm still sitting in the dock waiting for this little light to turn. Like this one over here and turn green. But it's still red. So I'm waiting to be loaded. So... Yeah, as you can see, here's some more, like, warning signals. I mean, that was saying, we saw that there, and it's down here, and it's a DPF sensor, star DPF. Oh, yeah, then I also got this little mirror here. 
but I don't use them so but yeah it's a nice truck I like it but I'm out of here guys so make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe and I will bring you more videos thank you have a great day